Hello everyone, I don't think I've made a video called channel update in a thing over a year, maybe more, but today I actually have a few things that I want to talk about. I know I've done some of these talking videos a lot lately, that's about to change, which is one of the things I'm talking about, by the way, ironically. But before I get to any of that, I want to announce that I'm building a Boron Zero. If you don't know, it's a tiny Corex y 3D printer by Boron Design. And well, it uh, it costs about five hundred ish dollars. If you're interested, it has a hundred twenty by hundred twenty by hundred twenty build volume, and well, it's a Warren Design printer, so it prints pretty pretty damn well. And as I said, I'm building one. I ordered pretty much every part I need for this. I will make one video before I start building this taking a look at some of the parts, the parts that are more interesting. For example, I ordered one of these magnetic beds from Mandala Roseworks. The frame, uh, uh, I should probably also mention, I was initially going to go with a black build, just like I did with Boron 2, but I decided to change things up a little bit, so I ordered red frames from LDO, and well, they're on their way, they will arrive soon-ish, hopefully. I am in the group by in the Discord, which is one of the reasons why I paid a lot less than what's listed for these parts on Printed Solid, so if you want to save money, well that is if you're building a Voron obviously, if you want to save money, definitely join the Discord so you will see some of these group buys. Again the group buy, my group buy also includes this Teflon coated Z lead screw, which is a black and probably pretty nice quality lead screw. The LDO motors for this, which if you don't know, Voron Zero uses NEMA 14 mat motors, so yeah, it, they're not that easy to source. And well, LDO does quality stuff, they know what they're doing when it comes to stepper motors, so I'm sure these will be great quality as well. And finally, this is one that I'm really interested in they're linear rails. As you know, I haven't had the greatest luck when it comes to the quality of my NGN 9 rails on my uh, Voron 2.4. And well, those are from Robotic. They are okay quality and they, they are doing the job for now, but I had two fail on me and the ones that are working aren't as good as they could be. But even more luck was that when I was upgrading my Tebo Black Widow back in the day with NGN 12 rails. Back then I went with two AliExpress sellers, one was just a random seller with quality and good ratings. The second one was actually claiming he was selling genuine high winds at a pretty decent markup. Well, both of them were shit and uh, I, they really didn't work that well. I tried a whole bunch of stuff back then to fix them, new bowls, new lubrication, cleaning, etc. Nothing really worked. So I know the it is really hard for these Chinese manufacturers to get the quality rights with these rails, so that's why I'm really interested in what they did with them. We'll see. And as you can see, the Boron Zero uses MGN 7s, by the way. And also, I am in the Boron Group Pie for Galileo, again on the Discord. And it will come with this uh, pancake motor for it, and also with some Multijet Fusion printed parts. It is a planetary gearbox extruder that will replace my afterburner clockwork extruder with afterburner Galileo, or afterburner is the system rather, it will replace the clockwork with Galileo. And well, again, you, we will, I will make a video about it. This, this was initially the plan to go to this directly without doing the clockwork, but you know, the group I was delayed a little bit, that happens. So I had to build the clockwork first but uh, as soon as I get my 2.4 running again, I will switch to this. Also, I ordered an ADXL345 accelerometer. This is for using Clipper's input shaper. And well, what this does is uh, it measures the frequencies and by that you can find, uh, uh, you, you can get rid of some of these wavy marks on your prints. I will also contribute some data to the open project on Discord for this. And well, yeah, as you can see, for example, on this Benji. Great, tiny picture. Anyway, you can probably see it. There are these curved lines next to the 
hall here on the Banshee. Well, it's it's for getting rid of things like that. I also want to talk about Warren's newly announced switchwire. I'm mostly talking about this because I know well a decent amount of my subscribers are also on the Warren Discord. Not everybody is. Some of you have been following me since the Tavo Black Widow days, some of you just joined for other stuff, so I think this is worth mentioning since I assume most of you are into 3D printing, since that's what I do mostly on this channel. So they announced this Warren Switchwire, it's a 700-ish dollar 3D printer that is pretty, ni pretty large. And without the enclosure around it, it's I think around 600 dollars. It uses a Prusa style heat pad here. Is you can buy any one from AliExpress, obviously, and it's a Corex Z design, one of the very few the printers out there with Corex Z setup. And well, it looks pretty interesting. I'm not going to be building one of these, I uh, beside that from the start, but the uh, reason I'm talking about it is I think it's pretty interesting for the people who have random parts lying around because, unlike Voron Zero. It uses a lot of uh, common parts that you may already have lying around, like MGM2 up rails, uh, Prusa heat pad, you know, random far uh, fans, and the you know stuff like E3D heater or something like that. You probably have lying around, which can reduce the price significantly. So if your problem with the Voron Zero was it was uh, too small, well. You can build this one instead, instead of jumping to something like uh, Voron 1.8 or 2.4, which are much more expensive than this. And, well, I should also talk about the uh, upcoming content on the channel. Monday, I'm having a bonus video, which I say that, so, you know, it's just a very short, quick tip video. It's about tightening your Z-belts on your Voron 2.4 equally, using a simple method to measure the how much you tighten them. It's a pretty simple video, but it's just a minute long quick video that I'm calling a bonus video, that's why it's on Monday. On Friday, I'm releasing a tutorial for using Moonlight Game Streaming, which is a, a NVIDIA game stream client. Maybe I can. You'd think I would have done some prep work, but Uh, it's this thing, it uses NVIDIA's game streaming uh, protocol to stream games across your home network or even remotely. I'm not going to cover streaming outside of your network. What I'm mainly covering is uh, streaming games from your computer to your TV, uh, to a Raspberry Pi connected to your TV. That's what I'm going to cover in the tutorial. And this will allow you to play games on your TV that are actually run from your computer, which I plan to do to use for uh, playing Fall Guys. It looks silly, but it's actually really fun. So this content is coming this Friday, or I should say next Friday, since today is Friday. Uh, the week after that, uh, the video with looking at these parts is coming. And the week after that, hopefully, if everything arrives from China, uh, Voron's next episode is coming and from that we will move on to other stuff maybe actually start building Voron Zero or maybe doing some other ones with Voron 2.4 or I don't know maybe I actually have a few side projects like the filament dehumidifier or a infrared uh, therm thermostat for my AC or stuff like that maybe we can move on to projects like that as well I'm not 100% on scheduling of any of that after the next two weeks, but content is definitely coming. In fact, I've been working on the Voron's next episode, Voron 12, for a while now, and there is actually one question I wanted to ask. Uh, a lot of the bigger YouTubers are, while recording their videos, they're also having some background music in their videos, and uh, you know, it's I think debatable what if it's good to have or not but I've been trying to do that since most people seem to prefer it but honestly I'm not sure if I like this so I'm just going to give you a sample if you have any opinions on that let me know what it is is it's just a board designed to adapt 
one of these PT100 amps from China. These cost like two bucks, three bucks, something like that. And my board will sit in between this and the SKR. So I will be able to just mount it to a step stick instead of just having wires all over the place. It's just a tidier solution. And well, yeah, I think that's it right now. I got a PT100 thermistor from China. Yeah, I think this much is enough. The music doesn't have to be this specific music. I just grabbed this from the YouTube audio library. And well, just let me know if you like background music in the videos or not. I'm just uh, yeah, trying to improve my production quality. But you know, with this, I may not ever end up doing this. So, yeah, it's just something I'm trying. And by the way, as you can see, about 13 minutes of the content is ready. And I've also cut about 20 or so minutes out of the total clips. So uh, yeah, that's why editing these videos actually take much longer than you'd expect. I've been editing this video for a couple hours actually. So, uh, oh, actually one more thing. As you can see, I'm also placing markers. And you will also notice that in this video as well, probably. And that's to uh, use YouTube's uh, marker system in the bar below. It separates your content into your chapters. I understand that some people like to jump from uh, something they consider boring to the interesting stuff. I don't do that, but I get that people's attention spans aren't as long. So, especially when I'm talking this long. Anyway, uh, yeah, if, if you are one of those people, uh, this will help you and uh, yeah I think that's it that's all I wanted to say in this video as I said content is finally coming the, the break I took with without uh, content for a few weeks is over it was mostly because I was sick and well now, now I'm feeling better so it's time to move on and make content so yeah that's it for this video I hope you're interested in excited for the upcoming content if you are please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching